far as injuries, 10 of their 11 starters from the season opening depth chart have missed time, including this guy, Elza Spartan. Lewerke looks to throw for the first time. Chased out of the pocket and pulled down from behind by Troy. Third down and long. On third and 14, Lewerke tucks it down and will get what he can, which is not a lot. Lamont finding someone who can go and make plays. Gunner Hayward's first carry of the day will lose a yard, and it will be fourth down. It's one of three to begin here in his first start in almost two months. He's under pressure. He shovels it for Stewart, who's quickly popped. And, oh, and you're going to have pressure anytime you're going to be in third and long scenarios. And everyone knows you got to get the ball out of the pocket, and that time was Lamar Winston. Four on third down, facing a four-man rush, Lewerke will scramble and get a first down, and then some! Galloping to the 25. Not seen. That was a stress fracture. Pressure coming. Lewerke gets rid of it, and there is Cody White. Getting six yards. Lewerke drops a snap, trying to find it like a bar of soap. Finally does, and heaves it wildly. That one is intercepted. Empty set here on second down. Underneath, Cody White can't haul it in, and this has been a slop. Third down and long. Lewerke out of a collapsing pocket has no shot. Justin Hollins. Pocket literally collapses out around him. It started with the pressure right in front of your face by Lamar Winston, as well as Jelks. Just collapsing the pocket and just got 40 yards. Takes a fake here. Lewerke's in trouble before he can even set his feet. Haber to get rid of it, and Cody White pulls it in. Here on third and six, he's facing pressure, which is picked up, giving him time to hit a crossing White. And a first down for Michigan State to the 40. And that was a citrus to play that sort of defense. On third down and three, they bring pressure from Amadi. Lewerke evades it, finds Sokol for a first down. Second third injury has been the primary running back this year. He's got it into the teeth of the Oregon defense for three. He's, he's very versatile. Back to back carries for him here. He lost the football, then got it back. And it will be third. In Michigan State's way, it does there. Three straight Hayward touches. Trying to power. His legs forward, stymied by Troy Dye and spot. It's a play action pass. He lets it go incomplete. He would see if Lewerke can catch some rhythm here for the sideline with a strong throw. That's Cody White. That's not the kind of throw. He a minute and a half left to go. Throws into the blitz for Daryl Stewart. He's got it for a short game. The Spartans hit a big play. They've not had many of them this year. Instead, underneath they go on a nice grab by Matt Dotson. Making a play as well as Nick Pickett. Four plays, four completions on this drive. It's Stewart again, breaking two tackles against the grain for a Spartan first. That's five consecutive completions for Lewerke, but this one... Goes for just a yard to L.J. Scott, just on third down. Wind up rushing only four, and Lewerke steps up. He's going to run for a first down, and this has been Michigan State's best offensive weapon today. Hasn't been healthy enough this year to do it. He's got it here off of the read play for two. Yeah, he ran for close to 600. Second down and eight, his first throw of the second half finds Cody White, who's got a first down, working against Thomas Graham. Option play. Lewerke at the last moment gives it to Scott, who staggers forward for two. L.J. Scott out of the pistol, straight ahead. And stopped by the interior of that Oregon defense. Find more production. Scott again, upended this time by a Pelu. We talked to foot ten, two oh eight. Lewerke incomplete. Behind Stewart. Big stage. Here is L.J. Scott. Who has run with a purpose today. Perhaps that purpose you're talking. Can stay for his senior season if you wanted to go that route. This time, this play never got going. Scott was able to turn a loss and come back to school for the final year. On third and short, it's Scott. It's close. 
second effort is going to get him a first down. It's got off the ball. Lewerke down the seam. That is Holland, despite the blow from Holland. Just barely get it off. That is Stewart, but a high throw. Made it an easy play. He is one of the smallest players on the field, but you do not notice it. Lewerke nowhere That's close cool. behind Daryl Stewart. Lewerke looks to throw. Gets rid of it just in time. He wants Cody White. Couldn't get back to the ball with a coverage. Ooh, three sophomores and a freshman back there a lot of the time. L.J. Scott for a gain of only one. Lewerke flushed off his spot and tripped up from behind by Lamar Winston. But he is quick and he can get up around the edge and retrace his steps. That's exactly what he does here. He's working as Kevin Jarvis, the right guard. He's got almost 100 pounds on him. They fake the dump off, trying to throw the screen to Scott, diagnosed perfectly by Oregon, and Justin Hollins brings Lowerke down. Stewart in motion. Lowerke fakes it to him, lets the blocks develop, and hurdles his way to the 32. And they're bringing it again. That is incomplete. Brought it effectively. Comes that safety that plays in the slot. Again, all day to throw. Stewart comes open and gets eight. L.J. Scott looks like he got it off for that second effort. He is. He's lined up over Daryl Stewart. Lorky looking short side. Double clutches. Now takes off. He's done this effectively today. Does it again for eight or Body with good coverage. L.J. Scott. The shoulder injury, performance not what he had last year. Finds Daryl Stewart, who's out of bounds after six or seven. Option play, Lewerke cutting it upfield, getting a first down inside the 35. Within six minutes on the clock when this drive began, the Spartans moving it down the field, and they look for Cody Walton to win. Here's Scott. Jamal Winston. On third and eight, the Ducks bring pressure. Lewerke lost it, was able to get back on it. He was six. They try to go once again, and watch as the rush gets upfield. Lewerke starts to take off, almost loses this football. It's really, really only bring one. Just cold. Lewerke, all day, but the coverage again tight. And low routes. Lorky again in trouble. Flips it outside for Scott, who will just get out of bounds. Bumped there by Gus Cumberland. Can Lorky make a play? He's given time. He delivers incomplete. Out of the reach of... All 11 stand for Oregon. Lorky has time. Can somebody come free? Over 